Hello everyone. In the previous video, we talked about basic list SOR structure and its operation. In this video, we will talk about associative list. Here we have an example of the associative list. It is basically a list of two dimensional list. And every item in here has a key and a value. The first item we have is key A and a value of 9. And the second item we have key and it associate value is 4. And the third item is we have key C and value of 3. So how do we check whether this key exists in this associative list or not? We use command assault. Then we give the key. Here we look for key. We check whether the key exists in the uh, uh, associated list A or not. So we say assault key C and the list name. If it exists, it returns the home pair. Here we are looking for key C and if it's C in the list A, then it returns the C3. Just to compare, uh, on the regular list, we use member, function member, to check whether that element exists on the list or not. For the associated list, we use command assault. Now, given a key, how do we find the value? And this is basically a command. It's a little bit complicated. I remember the list associated tritonymic dictionary, but it's still a list. Right. Yeah. This command, the first assault C list A here, return the pair if it found. CDAR basically get a second item. So you got three here. I put this com command in to clarify why we use this one. This command assault C list A return the whole pair like this. Then we use CDR. CDR basically return the list except the first element. So we will not get C in here. So we it return a list of three. But we do not want a list. We want a, just an element three. So we use car in front of this command to get it out. So this is the command complicated but CAR and CDR we can shorten it into CADR so to get a value we use command the next thing we want to do is to add the element or subtract the element on this command uh, we try to insert in front of the associated list the new item we key DAU here and value of 12. So we use a con command just like for list, regular list. If we execute this command and we have a new item in front of the associated list. To add at the end of the list, we use the command append. And here we're given the key and value. And remember, we have to provide double list. Now you got flattened. Now we don't have the uh, list for the last item. So we might add two items. So remember, you have to add list within a list. Because a list is basically a two-dimensional list. So we have to create a list within a list. After execute this command, and we got the new value item in the associate list. Now, how do we delete, delete out an element in the associate list? We use the command remove. Now, we have to provide exactly the key and value. If, if you just give the key and the value is not correct, it will not delete. So in this case, we want to remove key 
the item with key equal B and value equal 2 which exists in here so after exit this command this item is gone we don't no longer see it in here in this command we try to execute uh, remove a pair of key D which exists but the value 44 which is a crack in here so after exit this command this pair will not be delete so how do we delete a key in value just given a key we use this command again a little bit complicated remember we get a list key and uh, on the previous we showed how to get the value out this command So first, we look for key D, and with the key D, we go find look for the value. Once we go that, then we execute the remove. Then D is gone. Typically, we can write a small function subroutine to do this. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to loop through on the element of the associative list uh, we use the, for each command and we give a list associated list and each item here is key in value so to bring it out the first item we have to use car command car to get extract out the first item and cadr to extract extract out the second item and we put the summa the column between the key and value and the result will be like this now if we just want to get the key of the on the key in the associated list uh, certainly we can use uh, for each loop and we loop through every item and uh, we just guess the first item which is key and we append to the so we create an empty list here we append to the list key here the final result after I run this command that's what we got it you got on the key list in here now uh, in skill you can use map car okay use for each and map car and I then we use from this A and we got this the first element. So a little bit more shortcut than uh, the above command here. Or we can use map car in this, use lambda like this. Map car lambda, this got the first item and we use lambda. Once we get the key, we can sort it. We use, we use the command sort uh, alpha less. P and this is on the key in alphabetically order once we got the sort key we can loop the list again now on the key are in alphabetically order like A B C D Or we can lump on the command together like this for each here basically we repeat uh, the command above we just use this one and we put into key here and this basically we loop in one in one scoop normally you write a function for that then we got on the key and the alphabetical order now if you want to sort by the value not by the key by the value itself then we use this command for each sort list and we had to write the new function and sort CADR basically get the second item of, of the element there CADR 
so you sort by the value like this and you bring it out and you can see that B uh, basically the value in order of course you can reverse the other way around to get the bigger number first 